Okay, right. We're taking it to the uh, the stomping grounds, Brannett Bray. Um, this has got a bit of everything, and we're taking the escorts out. A weird thing with the escorts on certain tracks, they are very slow, um, and on other tracks, they're quick. Uh, and I noticed it more on the kind of mod tracks, like Knock Hill and things like that. Um, so I'm going to put it on Brannett Bray. Now I have done a lap, and just one lap. And on that lap, um, they were giving me a good race. Okay, the AI is on 120% and high, so it's maxed out. So we've got five laps here at Brannett Bray. Um, that's this track, it's a mod track, I'll leave a link in the description, but it's got... Um, it's kind of like a, a mini green hell if you like a Scottish version it's got a bit of everything some nice straights some high speed corners some bumpy roads smooth sections it puts the cars through the paces and certainly puts the AI through its paces being a mod track now one thing is obviously these cars and the AI for them is not really uh, set up to, to do mod tracks they're not in the game um, and like I said I've had problems on some where they're driving way too slow but on others like this not a problem it'll lock up as you come over that uh, drop off the bridge The Escort, you've got to watch out, it's got some uh, wicked lift off oversteer, especially if you're, uh, if you're braking or going down the gears. So you've got to kind of uh, manage that back end. Not a lot of weight there, Fords of the era were all the same, Capris were even worse, the slightly longer wheelbase. So we're making a bit of ground up here, uh, just simply because the other cars are uh, fighting with each other in close proximity, so it slows everybody down, Constantina effect. I think there's about 19 cars on track, but as they uh, start to settle in, they will speed up. Usually by the time we get to the end of the first lap. I'll go through a lap of this on the next lap and just uh, say what gears I'm doing and why I'm doing it. If you're not party to Brannock Bray, go get it. It is, in many people's opinion, <laughs> remember people, opinions, remember them, um, it's uh, probably the best mod track out there. Say it's a mix of everything and always gives you some uh, great racing, especially online as well. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the first lap now. The cars are starting to starting to separate, not much, but starting to get out there. I'm certainly staying with them at 120. Okay, so start finish line is here with the green lights. First corner. Fast left-hander, not flat though. Dropped it to third. I don't think he break as heavy there, but he did. Okay, so now we've got this uh, right-hander coming up. This is going to be third gear. Round the rocks, blind right-hander. Little rises and bumps and cambers going on all over the place on this track. This corner tightens towards the end keeping tight to work uh, because I knew it was on the outside of me again still in third gear here this as the camera drops away to the outside so be careful there's a jump onto the bridge and a jump off the bridge you need to start braking before you get to that jump dropped it to third I'm taking it easy massive adverse camera there just rolls you out as you can probably see up to fourth this is flat all the way through here every day of the week 
Okay, we've got a third gear right hander, uh, left hander coming up here under the bridge. Breaking a bit early just to manage that back end. There's nowhere for me to go. The cars are too close in fact. Up to fourth. This section here will actually see the cars jump. It is that bumpy. You will leave the ground. At the end of it, we've got a left hander, which is, is fast, but you have to get the line right, otherwise you over there. This one, third gear, left hander. Big lump on the inside, which can throw your car out wide. Use it all of the track. It's quite smooth on the outside. We're coming up to the chicane by the Bony Bear Pub. Shout out to Carty and the boys. Straight line it best you can. Okay, this one here, awkward. Lifting there just to get round in the escorts. This one drops off left hander, absolutely horrible. It will test your braking and your throttle and the back end to drop down to second there. Over the bridge. Right now we're getting into the big dip and the jump. Don't really want to be in the side of him, so we'll. Uh, we're in fourth gear here. I'm lifting, I'm taking like a left hand turn there. Uh, down to third, double right hander over the bridge, lump in the middle of the bridge, as with most bridges. This one, adverse camber at the end of it, so going slower than you think, otherwise you're in the fence. And that brings us round for a lap of Granite Bray. Granite Bray, however you want to say it. As you can see, the AI at 120 is probably the same as 110 normally. It's a little bit down, but not massively. It's giving me a good race of 120. Oh, just locking right. We're gonna we're gonna push on. I'm gonna say it's a bit down, but the cars are still queuing up here and slowing themselves down. So it's probably what's happening. Let's try and pick our way around best we can. Certainly giving no quarter. So it's a single class race, these are absolutely fantastic. Up to fourth, onto the bridge. Let's try and get up the inside here, we'll break a little bit late just to get around the yellow car. We'll lock up again as the car goes over the rise. Change down too early, the back end steps out. We are clear of the yellow car. So we're in the uh, fast section, but it's quite narrow here. Up to fourth. Can we have a fifth? No, that's a fourth. Okay, stay in there, they're defending the inside line. That's a third, big lazy and keep as much speed going as possible. Maximize the uh, use of track. Over the bumpy bits, you'll hear the revs rise and fall as the wheels lift off. Oh, nowhere to go, nowhere to go. Maybe, maybe, well, no, lost the back end, maybe up the inside, not well, not close enough. If we can get a run through the chicane at the Boney Burr, which I'm going to try and do, we can get a better exit, here we go. Up to fourth. Yeah, we've a better exit, we've got the inside, is he going to chop my nose off? That one then a bit tight there to back out. Okay, now we're here, and we had a bit of joy getting a good speed onto here, back getting all shapes, go wide, it's left a gap, bit of a clunk, give me his wing mirror back later. Okay, so we got a bit of a, a good run there, don't know if he's still at the side, somebody going wild up front, he is, don't want to be going side by side over the jump, down to third, it's back out of it, the other guys just come straight in on me. Ooh, touch the curb. Gotta watch the curbs here because they are literally curbs. He's still at the side of me. Got a good run, got a good run. These guys have backed themselves up. The front group is pulling away as you can see. These guys trying to stay in touch in the Castrol Escort. Squeezing me to the outside. Uh, is he still there? No, behind it. Right, okay. Dab the brakes. Roll that back end. These guys are having a massive battle up here. Okay, again, we're in the situation here of uh, do not overcook it. 
bit of patience. That seems to have disappeared with opinions actually. There you go. I'm not bitter. <laughs> okay, the Castrol cars right back on me. I'm up in fourth. I'm trying to get a run down here, but these are side by side, there's nowhere for me to go. Just cover the inside, break a bit early, give myself a bit of room watching the guy behind. Massive adverse camber, just control that throttle. So don't lose the back end completely. To fourth. Whoops, a few lumps of bumps. Again, not doing much here. He's looking. Let's leave it fourth, no third. Whoa, okay, that was a bad idea. Back lost traction, stepped out on me. Managed the back end, Owen. Again, nowhere here. Not got a, a fast enough run on it. Orange car's gone to the inside, so there's nowhere to go there. Can't back off because the other car's come right up on me in the Martini Escort behind. Oof. Yeah, I went a bit too deep on the left hand side there, got a track warning. It's a fine line for it as you came. Blip down to third. <laughs> just controlling that back end again, just dab of brakes so we don't go up on the curb. So I was making a lot of time, but I'm not making much here. It's a fourth. Okay, over the jump. Trying to straighten that out. Blip down to third. Line was too shallow there. Lost a lot of time. There, I ran a bit wide there, but the uh, the blue car up ahead got the same problem. Hit the brakes and backed everybody up. We will take advantage of that. Have a look. This is the last lap. Tyres look okay. Again, I'm just looking, positioning myself just in case something happens. Oh, you need to stay close. Tight need to stay close in case an opportunity does arise. From there it's quicker than me, compromise my line looking up the inside just to see how he would react. Okay fast section I'm gaining here, I am gaining. Am I gonna gain enough? Nope. Okay, they're back on me. Green car, orange car, back up. Okay, something's happened there, he's backed off, I'm going for it. He's had a moment of uh, Biden this. Where am I? What am I doing? Better past the bony burr. Got to keep it together. We've got a bit of a run out of there. A little bit of trail breaking into that then. Just get on the inside and get the camber. Same here, down to third. Right away out to the edge of the kerb and on it. <laughs> yeah, got a good run there, making a bit of, bit of distance. That's that little jump. Straight up, got to the outside, drops a third with a blip. 
treat it as one big long corner. I'm going to leave it in third here, then break. Give myself a little bit of time. I've gone wide, missed the apex. One eye on the mirror. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, the AI does seem a little bit down. 110 would have been what I thought I was on racing that race there. Um, they're a little bit slow, but the problem is if you speed these up, you've got to speed the Mercedes up as well, and they're by two different depths, so not quite sure how that works. And like I said, on certain tracks, I'm struggling to stay midfield on 110, and then on some mod tracks, I'm obliterating them within a lap or two from the back of the pack. So it is what it is okie dokie thanks for watching adios